reality is a piece of plastic or some type of material close to plastic that is heated till it's molten, till it's liquid. Then it comes through a nozzle. As soon as it comes out of the nozzle, it turns back to its original state. So it's like water into ice, ice back to water. Okay? Solid to liquid, liquid to solid. Then the 3D printing comes in in an X, Y, Z approach. One, take a, a square, one, two, three, four. And up one, okay, that's X, Y, then up one is Z. Repeat it over and over, or it could be a circle. Or all that comes from the design of the, the drawing, the draftsman, so yeah, that comes from design. So that's what 3D printing is now. You're probably not going to see one around clean, clean for a while, but the new state of the art of 3D print, the problem that this is, if you think about it, obviously it's very slow. Duh, 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 duh. Very slow. So if you print something that's relatively big, almost as big as the base there, for example, it's going to take a long time. Six hours, eight hours, 12 hours, maybe a day. And you have to be watching it. Okay? So I don't print anything that big. Okay? I'm printing all small stuff. And you're determined, you can only print something as big as the, the base of the machine anyway. So if you want something big, you buy something bigger. But this is a pretty good size. I have a little one too, where you can print rings and different things like that. Okay? So how much does this one cost? Sir? I would say this, I don't know right now, but I would say around 350 For this size? For, for this one. This is called the Junior. X. Junior. They have another one bigger. Yeah. Well, they have all kinds of them. This is Junior. Where is it? XYZ? Yeah. XYZ. Because my Printing and a Junior 1.0. Okay. My son had wondered like that. Pardon? My son had wondered. Yeah. Same size. Okay. Now, to get to, I think it was your question on color. Yeah, on color. Okay. <clears throat> on color, you, yeah. you have the binding. Yeah. Most of the cheap ones, okay, now this one has one I'm going to talk about. Most of the cheaper ones like this here only print uh, one color at a time. So you only got one nozzle coming down. One nozzle coming down. So if you want color, you can print two colors on a lot of these machines because you have two nozzles coming down. Now you're, going to, you're going to have to, the computer's going to have to tell them when to do white and red and so on. But right now, you, you can only, generally speaking, mix them with two nozzles. Oh, that's them for mix, right. but talk about solid color, that's no. the one. Then. If you want a solid color, you then can then buy you these in whatever one. color they sell. Yeah. So they probably sell this one in about six colors. Yeah, that's why and maybe two, yeah, and maybe two or three different types of materials. Oh. With my smaller one, which I really bring if I'm going to get a class like this, but this one we're going to keep. Here. <coughs> a smaller one like this, the company didn't do this to us, oh. so I can buy the filament. This is called filament from ten different companies, and I can buy more variations on. This company doesn't sell, I don't think, a flexible filament. You can buy it on Amazon. So, pardon? Amazon. You can buy it on yeah, Amazon. I buy everything on Amazon, by the way. Yeah. Cheap. Now, all this stuff is available on Amazon. So if you like it, you could go home tonight and order it, and you'll have it Wednesday in your house. Mm -hmm. OK, the other nice thing about this one is had this one out of the box yet, so I've got to make sure there's, I know it's like my other one. Yeah, this stuff. There's a chip over here. Is there, yeah, that one. Some of these, uh, you have to connect to your computer. So mm -hmm. if you're printing for overnight, let's say, if you're printing something for six or seven right. hours, the bottom line is going to tie up your computer. But most computers do multitasking, so that's not made. But it's going to tie up computer power. 
So as long as that needs a computer power, you're going to be losing power in your computer. So there's a certain advantage of not tying up your computer. This particular one, you know, a lot of their other ones from the same company don't do this, but you can put it. The, the slice program, the end product now, on an SD card. Put it in here, and then this thing can be anywhere in your house printing. Mm -hmm. So you're not time up a computer. So to me, that's a tremendous advantage. <coughs> Just a standard S SD card. In the program, as I said, you're gonna go through the standard format that people are putting things up there on the internet. So if you want to write this down, if you want to look on a computer, do any searches for anything, it's thing e verse, thing e, thing i v e r c, f e, one long word. Yes. And you'll find hundreds of things that people around the world have made, very good people, and put up there for free. How do you That's spell where I got this thing How do you spell that? Pardon? How do you spell that again? Think, T-H-I-N-G, I-V-E-R-S-E. I-V-E-R-S-E. V-E-R-S-V. S-V. And if you're looking, and that's owned by one of the companies that makes printer. So most of the people who, who make them will also have a website where people put stuff up. So they make something, uh, and then they put it up for anybody to use, just like we are with our videos and so on. Where do you insert the little memory chip? Where do you insert, where do you insert that? Where do you insert that? Right there? Yeah. Goes in here, and then here's your, your screen. You can push. Here's your controls. Up, down. This is your menu, just like in a computer. It'll have a menu of uh, uh, what filament you're using, right. and calibrate it, and this and that, and, uh, and so on. And then you press it, and then it'll go on to the next part of it. Are you ready to print? And you say yes, and then it'll start printing. So this little unit is a standalone unit, Pardon? right? It's a standalone. It does not need a computer. Right, but that's the only thing that makes it stand alone. Right. It'll, it'll, it'll work with the computer too. That's why I'm highly recommending it. Uh, one of the other nice things about this compared with some other companies. Uh, oh, you can use this on the This is the weak link in the chain. Your filament on almost all these 3D printers comes through here from this tool here and comes out there. Now we go from high tech, mm -hmm. you know, that's about as low tech as you can get, in my opinion. Okay. Therefore, as this filament comes through, then it's got to come out. I don't know if you can see it, but the nozzle is down here. This is a heating element, yeah. the nozzle's down there. Uh, Obviously, if you're going to heat something up and it's going to have to thaw out, what is the first problem we can have? It's going to clog up. Okay, That's why I say these things are very important. If that thing clogs up, you're out of work. You know, so you've got to have something to get in there. And they're not common things on the market. Maybe a paper clip if you can find something to do it, but that's why I say make sure that you don't lose any parts because it's there for a reason. So, and they do clog up. Uh, the rule of thumb is after about 25 printings, you better clean it or it's going to get clogged. Okay. Now, the reason, as I said, I happen to like, like, like this one, yeah, is that they made this in such a way the nozzle is. is the workforce of it, right? Without the nozzle, you're not going to have anything. You can take that one out and clean it. You don't have to get in. You can take it out and put it. It's got a ribbon band on it. You can take it out and work with it. 
you can see how hard that would be if it stayed in there and you have to now a lot of these are not closed a lot of people made them themselves uh, these are just pillars they don't have a, an enclosed case okay. and the next thing in working all this here is the bed is a problem Dead. a bed somewhere a bed for here. Oh, the deck. Yeah. I thought he said the deck. Let me open it up. <clears throat> this is the next step up in, in printing. This stuff. The reason you need this here, if you think about it, this stuff is sticky, right? Mm -hmm. That's how it works. So the bottom line, when you get through printing it, it's stuck to the bed. In other words, in, in like that Orion, the, the astronomy constellations, they're extremely delicate. Mm -hmm. and they're yeah, gonna break easy yeah. if you do a lot of things. So you've gotta have a way to yeah, chisel it off the base. Mm -hmm. okay? And that's why the putty knife is extremely- I was gonna say that looks like a putty knife. It is. <laughs> Just a putty knife, you're right. But you've got to have a way to chisel it off the base. That's not what I thought about. So. Anyway, to get to the base, uh, there are bases that are glass, there are bases that are not glass, and then there are bases that are heated. So a heated base, generally speaking, is better than a non-heated base, which means you're going to get it off easier with a putty knife, right? So, and it's got a, you've got a little bit more control over what's happening on the base. Because you've got the top control, but now you want some kind of control over the bottom. Here's the now, base with the glass. Huh? Here's the base with the glass. Yeah, the glass. Yeah. This is glass, but some, that's what this is for. This fits over there. And you have to buy extra ones of these. So. And you're going to tear it with a putty knife after a couple of times. You'll need some extra ones. In fact, I think there's extra ones here, don't they? Mm -hmm. Looks like there's a few. Now, if you think about it, let's say you wanted to, and we went over this in the class before, you wanted to print a bust of me, okay? Which is uncommon. You have Beethoven on your piano at home, you might have Abe Lincoln and so on. So with a scanner, you can go around, or with a DSL camera, you can go around and get pictures, and then your software will blend all these together and make the file that you need. Okay. Is that put on that chip? Pardon? Is yeah. That, yeah, that, will, that will be the basic file. I mean, first of all, right now we're talking about the basic <coughs> file. A lot of the programs are called ABGJ object, others will be STL. So these extensions become very, very important as you move through photography, video, or, or anything. So <clears throat> think about it, if you want to make, and I'm a dancer, okay, I've been teaching dance since I was in seventh grade. Uh, now we're teaching music and dance here, so, but, if I'm dancing, let's say my young girls are dancing with castanets, like so. No, okay. so. You think about it, that's very hard to print, right? The fingers are up here, the hands up there, the arms here, and so on. So it's going to break very, very easy. Okay? So in addition, huh? as you move forward, <laughs> there's going to be turns that you're going to have to use. One, you might have to give it a base. In other words, it might not stand under two feet. So like a lot of statues you have at home, you, you might have to give it a base. Okay? You have to give it another thing to fill these. If the hand is up here and you want the hand there, to make it go through the gyrations of being made, it might have to have a support. So a lot of these things like that that are out will need a support from the base up here. Is the support printed and you do away with it? Pardon? Is the support printed? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All these things, it, it will ask you as you go through the program, do you want a raft? Do you want this? Do you want that? 
you can either click yes or no on it. And this is where the learning process comes in, and also the experimentation. You do one, you do two. If it doesn't work, you go to book, read the book. So, but anyway, uh, there are problems with printing. It's not just a matter of printing. You're just going to print a square like this here. This is very easy. But once you start getting into more sophistication, uh, and so on. So the other thing is, as I said, scanning. Next week I'll bring a scanner. Uh, some of them are hand scanners, where with her I just walk around like so, and it takes picture, 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 picture. Mm -hmm. So, and then it puts them together. They call that ICE, mm -hmm. uh, image, uh, I see, image composite editor. Okay, Microsoft came out with it. So you can use that for under the microscope looking at stuff. You can use it a lot. In astronomy, they use what they call stackers. Uh, they'll take uh, a thousand pictures of a star or a nebula, and then your software puts them together, gets rid of all the bad ones, the good ones, and you come out with one good image. So uh, in a lot of things in digital photography, it's not just one picture. You put them all together, and your software does that. Okay. So. If you're going to use this, that now, if we go around her, okay, or the other way is to take her and put her in a stool. <laughs> okay? So you can buy uh, things that you put your object on and it'll go around, or you can go around with it. And I'm trying to think, no, this company doesn't. But anyway, you can take a DSL camera and do the same thing. You can also take a iPad, and I think an Android phone, and so on. So if you want to write this down, I'd recommend you write down one, two, three, just one, two, three, design, and look that up.